Let's take a look at Kosoro guard. We're gonna take a look at this throw done left on right. I'll be a righty, and my partner here is gonna act like a left-handed judo player with the left foot forward. This can be done same side, but I prefer to do it opposite side. So, got a grip on the collar. I wanna make sure I'm in good position inside control against lefties, okay? I'm gonna have the inside control and bottom part on the sleeve, inside on the collar. And all I'm gonna do to get this to work is I'm gonna bring my partner to square. So I'm gonna walk towards the collar sleeve here. That way it forces my partner into a spin where he's leaving that knee leg where it is, but the back leg is making a big circle, okay? That's how I'm gonna set this throw up. And I'm gonna to try to get him into a square stance to me. As you can see from our footwork right now, we have a big V stance where we create a V here. What I wanna do is I wanna turn and I wanna pull him so that when I, when I pull him forward and I step up, we're in a square stance. That's gonna be my goal for the left on right, Kosoto. So as I'm spinning him in that circle, when I step up, come forward, I'm gonna also step up to engage my hips and get into that square stance. So I'm gonna spin us 180 degrees. We're gonna spin, spin, spin. And now we're in that square stance where I left my leg forward, but I gave him a little bit of a pull from the sleeve. From here, all I'm gonna do is pull and lower my level. So I lower it down, I get my foot in a position that I can stand on it. Most of the time you have to bring it in to your center to stand. I squat and I go up and I'm shocked at that ankle. It's important to create that circular motion where I pull down and I get underneath him and then my hands lift the jacket. And I get on top and I drive up and over the top of his shoulders. I want to try to put my chin on the top of his head. So when his head's down here, I'm going to load and I'm going to spring off one leg. I'm going to reach with my chin to get to the top of his head and use my hands to climb on top of his shoulders. So we're going to walk in that circle again. One, two, Three, now we're in that square stance. I bring that foot in so I can stand on it. I lower, my hands are locked. I drive up, boom. My hands stay heavy with the back of my hand on top of that shoulder to bring him down to the floor to finish the technique. The goal is to bring my foot behind my leg. But as you see, when my foot, it's not just here. My knee also travels behind my leg to get the bend for the throw. So when we're in this position, I step in, up, I pull, and then stand with feet force. I pull his leg with the leg up. And I don't just do this, but my knee also travels. There we go. And that's what's gonna get that throw, is when your knee goes behind your other leg for the finish. So one more time. One, two, three, up, home. To the pitch. Give it a shot, try it out, and we're enjoying it.